Kerwin's Game Store, the best place in gaming. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, we're up with round five. Uh, who we're going to have is uh, Joe Tibbetts. We saw Jeremy Tibbetts earlier, it's his brother. And uh, Jonathan Belzy? Yeah, that was, he, was also, he was also on camera, camera, also. camera earlier. He was playing Blue Red. Blue Red versus Twin, actually. Cool. So, see, this is, a, this is a deck I thought we were going to see a lot more. If I was playing, I would be playing it. Yeah. I love that <laughs> So, on. Right. Let's so, go down to the feature. We're going to go down there. Let's see. They're shuffling up. Uh, Jeremy is, or Joe, is on your left. And uh, as you can see again, John is on your right. I mean, I could not even change the USA control thing. That worked out pretty well. All right. So, so I'm I'm a big fan of this Splinter Twin deck. Yeah, um, me too. It looks like he's a pretty stock list. He's got four snapcasts recorder, Master Mate. Actually, that's they don't, play, they don't play four snapcasters. Yeah, that's, right? I was just about to say that. He has more snapcasters. He's only playing two Deceiver cards, that's which I feel is like the weirdest is he thing. Is he playing No, he's playing um, Grimlaw the Mancer, though, which actually, I think this is the Grand Prix winning deck list from uh, yeah. the last Grand Prix. Um, the only thing that I think might be different is he might have more snapcasters than the other guy did. I can pull up the deck list for you, but it's very close to that deck list. Um, I also got a yellow because he's playing Dispel instead of a Swan Song. Yeah. But, I mean, does he already have four copies of Swan Song? Mm -hmm. Alright, he's doing something. He's not even playing Swan Song. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up that. The deck list? <laughs> yeah, the deck list from the Grand Prix deck list is. Yeah, this is, this is more of the same. We've seen this guy's deck before. Yeah. Well, both of these guys have one loss. They yeah, can't, oh, they yeah, can't okay, tie yeah, into that's, that's the other important thing today, uh, to mention. They, this is round five. They both need to win, and then they can draw in next round. Yeah. Um, so that's why we put these guys on camera. Our first place guys are actually just going to draw, draw. In and um, one of them might not be able to, but we already had one of them on. Huh? Well, our first two we're gonna be able to draw, draw, and then J uh, Jeremy Tibbetts, Jeremy Tibbetts, the Mono yeah. Green Devotion deck, he's pl uh, playing versus a nine pointer, so he they might not draw. We're gonna yeah. find out. Um, so let me open up the deck list. I'm pretty sure it's really close to the last modern Grand Prix deck list. Antwerp, I think it was. It was okay. Yeah. Um, yep, so that's it's actually his list. So, yep, four Snapcaster Mage and two Twin. Uh, Right down to the one key jiggy and uh, the one dispel. So Joe was actually on that list completely. Yeah. So exactly. we'll see. did he cut the? Does he still have the peak? I think he might have cut the peak. I mean, I don't know why. Oh, I, I, two peaks. Um, he looks like he swapped them out for taxi, which, which makes sense. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Yeah, I don't. It's, well, peaks and instant. I think that's the only difference. But I mean, pro pro is free basically. Pro, pro can do free. like. And um, it looks like the sideboard is even the same. Like right down the line, three multi um three multi rate one engineer explosives. Uh, okay, little change. Uh, Joe is playing a sort of feast and famine. Um, fire and ice. Fire and ice. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, and uh, over yeah, one. So there's yeah. that. Um, let me tell them that you are set. Just tell them we're ready to go when they are. Time shuffle. Yeah. Well, you gotta. He's only playing six copies of his uh, win count, so he's gotta yeah. shuffle it up well. Uh, Alright, just gonna go ahead and thank everybody for joining us. This is Kerwin's Game Store, a modern 2K event. Uh, I am Alex Mitchell. This is Liam Lonergan. Liam Lonergan here with me. Yeah. Uh, round five, it's a 2K, and uh, hopefully we'll get started in just one second. Yeah. Uh, looks like Jonathan is getting up for some reason. Yeah. We'll find out soon. <laughs> Joe looks very. Excited about that. <laughs> Who are they telling us to call him? Yoshi? Because he's going green. Oh, it might be a. Oh, okay. I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Player's just using the bathroom real quick. He'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. So, alright, so let's go back into uh, Jonathan's list here. Is there anything spicy? 
He's playing think twice, two think twice, one bolt, three path, two shadow of doubt. Uh, three man leak. Oh, right, he was one thing, one spell pierce. Yeah. Three. And he, he basically has two supreme verdict, power plasm, and a surgical. He has, his win cons are basically Elspeth and Gideon. He had how many? His three snapcaster paint. Only three. Yeah, very, very controlling list here. Yeah, absolutely. Let's look into um, X for one. I, don't, I think this is actually a not very good matchup for Joe. Yeah, I don't think so either. He, he has a lot of. He has a, he's, a lot of spells. Um, he's got three Lightning Helix, which doesn't deal with the Seaver Exarch, like, but he still does have the three Path to Exile and the Snap. Right. I mean, maybe the Grim Lava Mancer might actually do a decent amount of work. I could, but once again, he doesn't go for it. Yeah. Some people don't respect that card, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, it, playing Grim Lava Mancer makes me wonder why you wouldn't just splash the black or the green. The yeah, for a yeah, for a but you can shoot, you can shoot creatures. Right, right, right. I mean, you just can't. Here's, yeah. here's Splitter. Well, because there is, there, really there, here's that early probe, so we're going to see where we're starting off with. A lot of lands, um, and it uh, looks like two spells. I can't quite see the white card in the left. How about you? Oh, uh, that's a path. It's a promo path. From, okay, uh, and that's all from the Vencer Christian Sprite. Yeah. It almost looks like a Swords of Lash. That's not legal. <laughs> um, so it's a Lightning Helix. So two removal spells that uh, can kill Estermite, which well, is actually one can not even hit. One path hits everything. Yeah, path can hit obviously everything. Um, yeah. But the Lightning Helix can't kill the Sea Rex Arc. But Joe is only playing two to Sea Rex So that's actually a good card right here. So he's going to go ahead and play a Silver Pulse Tap, which means he's probably light on the He is light on the I think that's his only land. land. But he does have two uh, Serum, serum Visions okay. in hand. So I would have... Oh, I don't even know. I, 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 I probably would have kept it. So he, he's good. He's good. I, would have kept yeah, I would have kept it too, only because Especially he had the to really draw stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to draw a Scry. That looked like a Pester Man and a Splinter Twin, actually. I, yeah, I don't like. know. We're exactly. going to find out. Let's see. Yeah, he leaves them. Yeah, so I think it might have been um Okay, he can shuffle them away anyway. Yeah. We're gonna find that out here. I feel like he's not going to. Now uh, he drew a Gideon though on the right, which is not very very yeah, slow. It's, it's very, very out. slow. It's fetching here. Yeah. Right. Uh, back to Joel. Like total. Sorry, I was um, right. One second. All right. Uh, so John, John is currently at seventeen. Joe is at nineteen. Yeah. Got double fetches one day. Wanted to get both of the cards that he left on top first. Serum visions. He has a he has an Exarch and a Pester, it looks like, and a Snapcaster. So he's got he's got quite a few tools to push through this combo here. Ooh, yeah, absolutely. He shadow doubted the All first the scalding. He shadow doubted the first scalding card, and in response, Joe cracked the other. So it looks like he's gonna be out of uh, land here, which is definitely gonna hurt him. Yeah, that's that's not very good for Joe. Especially because Joe needs his lands yeah. to get ahead here. I mean, most he needs is five, though. Like he was yeah, short absolutely. of land. But the thing is, like you want to be ahead of all of uh, all of their yeah, mobile that's spells. True. So now he's not he's not gonna be able to. What's happening? So he's gonna draw. This is off the serum regions currently. Great, and now he's gonna scry some. Yes. Okay. So what's in his hand? It's kind of hard to see. Can check that again? Make sure, uh, check the life totals? Yeah, because I think he might have shot. Yeah, he did. Joe's at 60. Oh, alright, no, he Yeah, we're good. Couldn't tell what that scheme is. Oh, you got a man leak now. Who's uh, that? Uh, John, John has picked a man, up a man yeah. Okay. Wait, did he not have him? He didn't have another land, so that's a shadow double. Yeah, it was very good. Oh, oh there is. Okay, but so. he needs, a, he needs, he still needs another one. I think, I, is that I would, all the way to the left? I would. No, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. so I would snap. I would probably snapcaster probe here. 
Yeah, just to just to see how. There we go. Yeah, uh, he might see our missions. It also is also very good. It's probably yeah. borderline the same thing. But uh, I would just to see if my combo is good for the next couple. Of yeah, I but mean, he knows he has the he knows he has the path and the uh, families. Yeah, I mean, uh, Joe still has. I saw another snapcaster there. Snapcaster yeah. twin to see for exactly is what I just saw in that yeah. that portion of the sand. He picked up another path though, which is actually gonna punch Joe a lot. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah, it's um. So nice. this is a, yeah, this is a very grinding matchup. Hopefully, Jonathan doesn't get crazy and tap up the idiot next turn. Yeah, that would, that would be it. He he died. Yeah, well, no, he, oh, he died because he drove past me. So we would play getting in. He would tap. We did that. Not entirely sure. Well, Gideon would be dead. Yeah. <laughs> we know that. Oh, he's tech edging. This is a very good play. Oh, he's fetching response. It's gonna. Well, no. No, it still goes through, right? Yeah. He'll still go through. Because the, the light resolves. Okay, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Hopefully he's he gets just a shortcutting here. Yeah, hopefully he gets a mountain. Because I've made that mistake before where you're like, sweet, I'll go grab an island. We always need islands, right? And then, uh, you <laughs> yeah, he, he's, get, he's just getting a uh, shot here. Mm. Okay, he did end of turn. I was going to say, I thought, because now he can't. See, that seems really bad, because he should have taken two for that. He shouldn't even have fetched, because if he, he could have left it open so that he could have played the twin. What do you yeah, mean? The split, he could have played the Seaver, sorry. Yeah. So, like, he, he, oh, he made it, so he, there's no way he's playing the Seaver. So Jonathan has this turn to be. To another path there. I don't think. Oh, uh, yeah. There's... there's, there's so he has three paths in hand? I'm pretty sure he has three paths and a helix. And a helix. I, see, I, saw, a an old, I saw an old bolt right there. In second wow. That's, a, that's so much removal. I mean... Wow. He's going to probe him? Yeah. He's, he might... He's going to probe him and then just cry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he does. <laughs> Is he paying the two for the probe? Uh, let's find out. Looks like... Yep, yeah, did. He's now 13. He's going to go ahead and helix him right away. Jump. Go back up to 20. So he's a 10? No, he's a 13. So he likes the R. Snap Yeah. Oh, his light toll doesn't really matter very much. So I guess in this aspect, the, the Snap Casters are a good version of this deck. Like, because it's good to have the advantage. Yeah. Look, he just, he just, he just so, yeah, triple lines up the like, removal. Let's see Joe's face with his face shot. I feel so. I, I mean, I mind him. I just be like. Why? Yeah, I think I, <laughs> like, does he have? He, does, he, he has enough removal for. That's all the paths in his deck. That's. <laughs> sorry about this, John. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. I mean, Joe. Joe at this What's point just needs him. But yeah. Um. So I didn't notice that. Yep. Two, two cryptic commands. That probably was the same as the when you call this. Yeah. Yep. Two cryptic commands. That's that's very much. That's a lot. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Removal. Make sure with cryptic or cryptic command, you could also miss fighting, but that'd be sweet. Top no. of is a cool combo yeah. yeah, no. I feel like that'd be uh, uh, insane. Oh, this bell. Like that helps. That helps a little. Gotta be able to at least no, it's not for one song. twice now. It's not Swan Song. See, Swan Song would have done all of them. Wow, he just ruined a bunch of lives. So now he's actually, how many red swords does he have? Just one. No, too. Okay, so he's not even going to be able to electrolyze in that. Oh, there's a Kiki. So Joe has all the combo pieces, but uh, just he just doesn't have much. enough way to get you removed here. Yeah, I don't know if he ever will. I don't think he will. He's only playing three mans, two of the charms. So, see, that's, this, is, this is why, literally, this is the exact reason why on this deck I load up on dispels or swan songs or yeah, songs or like four pierces. ups and then yeah, some absolutely. dispel. Absolutely. I haven't played a score of less than like, three dispels. Three Me? Yes. Really? I mean, at this point, I feel like he almost just has to like just run some guys out. Yeah. Just to burn the mobile. Is he gonna counter this? Is he not like they're gonna go to draw cards? I mean, John's draw this game has been very sane, very good yeah, Com compared to the how many lands and two removal spells he's drawn. Nothing but gas sense. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, which is a good thing about keeping most of the land hands, but yeah. So yeah, John says, go ahead, I'm not going to mana like that. There's no reason to. Yeah. This is going to be a long game. Yeah, I feel like it is. There's 
I mean, at some point, Joe Joe might. Yeah, like that's exactly what I was going to say. Like Joe might just think I can get you the next two. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, it's that's pretty rough. Yeah, it is. Trying, I don't even know. I don't even know what you're trying to do. He's just shot there. Uh, Joe's currently on 11. Yep. Where else are you? 10. 10. Decracks that a little. Another shadow down would have been it. <laughs> wouldn't have hurt that bad, yeah, but it, it just would have been. I mean, it would have been annoying. Yeah. yeah jump too. <clears throat> so many powerful cards. In both of their hands. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're, they're, they're just they're just staring at each other for <laughs> some. I feel like there's going to be quite a crazy thing going on. All right, I, th- I guess John's on the. I'm going to try and. Bolt. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's only in seven now. It's mono red out of his game. He's got another bolt in hand too. So. Yeah. Does he have a colonnade or no? No, I don't. But he has another bolt, so he's going to go yeah. ahead and uh, um, get it, maybe. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, do you like this though? I I don't think so. Cryptic, yes, I would cryptic yeah. command. No, oh, cryptic because if he cryptic commands, he counters back and then he's able to dispel the uh, counter. Dispel? No, no, he would able. So I mean, one, he two, might three, he four. might leak this, but then that's just bad because he can just pay the mana leak. Well, the thing is, I'm thinking of trying to Joe trying to win. Yeah, the next turn. So, like, yeah, so I'm saying deceiver and go crazy, but he has, he has, he still has the two three path in his hand. Right. He might, yeah, but like, see, he's fighting over this. So if I were him, cryptic command back, so he has to mana leak, please do do this. So if he cryptic <laughs> command back, so that, do it, so that John has to mana leak, otherwise he's just losing this battle insanely. Yeah. So then, he has, he's a remand. Oh, uh, that's so much worse, though. Not really. Yeah, no, it's absolutely worse, because what does he remand to, uh, uh, well then, next turn. Think, next turn. Think. If he he still has enough mana, where he can cast either deceiver. Nope, that's game. If Joe if Joe can do this, that is game. He's gonna take. Joe needs to take three. Let this all resolve. He's like, fine, you can have it. Has three lands left. Plays deceiver. And untaps and oh, wins the game. Oh no! Wait, actually, never mind. I'm completely. We're both wrong here because this is the end of Joe's turn, isn't it? Yeah. This is what this Joe. Yeah. Oh, you're right. So, so John's gonna untap and just win the game. Well, not win the game, but John's gonna untap and have all the things back anyway. Maybe they're trying to resolve the stack. Yeah. So that remained resolved. I'm kind of confused by that. How did that mainly not resolve? Oh, he just paid the three man of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, this that I don't know how well Joe's gonna come out of this. One, he still has the three path and Gideon. And so, uh, he still no, has cryptic. He again. still has cryptic again. That was that was a lot of that was thinking a, that we all just did wrong. Yeah, because <laughs> we thought it was the end of the other. We thought it was the end of Joe's turn. Yeah, I feel like Joe has to end present jump. something at the end of the turn. Like some. What is that? Those are a lot. Those are a lot. Oh, torment lock. <laughs> God, I want those. That's fine. That's a good card though. That's gonna start doing work. I mean, <laughs> as much I would as actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. About that much work. <laughs> about that, I mean, like about uh, being a pet. Yeah, I mean, there's there's two more. He, so like he knew he, has, he, knew he has the Joe knew he had all three, right? Yeah, no, he yeah. does. So the cool thing is Joe still Joe knows. Or no, 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 Joe still has a cryptic. So if John's like, all right, I'm gonna leave open, I'm gonna tap out the game. Yeah, you just blow him out. With the cryptic. He'll have quite stacked hands here. But then again, he could just activate this colonnade and swing. With does he still have that? He doesn't have a bolt in it anymore, right? What is? Are we sure the light totals are right? Sure. Yeah, I think the light totals are still Okay. Okay, so he's activating colonnade actually. Yeah, I know. That's so why I was making sure. So it he was, has a text colonnade right there. It's true. What's he doing? Maybe he's just trying to pressure. That's the worst way to pressure. What? Oh, he's trying oh. to. Oh my! I know what he's doing. Okay. He's so trying to. He's trying to ta- make him tap out. Yeah. He does have two guys, right? He's like, sure, take four, go to three. He's like, cool. But he still has the path, and so uh, he might tap all creatures, bounce the steam melt. That's actually pretty sweet. But then again, he's still open to a. 
Nothing. He'll be tapped out then. If he if he is but able he can't to, he can't. Well, if Joe Cryptic Command tap all creatures, bounce your land. Does he have enough to cast the Deceiver and uh? Yeah, next turn he does for sure. Oh, so Bolt doesn't do it. Bolt kills him. Bolt kills oh, Joe. Oh, that's terrible, Joe. No, no. I mean, he's still dead with that line that he had anyway. Well, he wouldn't yeah. have been. The line that you had, he no, was no. still dead. If he he would have had to cast like how I was saying it was what he was probably trying to do: cast the Deceiver right. and untap it and cast cast Kiki, and then just make a trillion guys. No, but what I was just saying is if Joe, if that Joe, was Lance. if Joe before he declared him as an attacker, um, tech edge the land, and then tech edge the hollow bound, tech edge hollow bound, and then cryptic command tap no creatures, yeah, bounce your land. That would be oh, he could have just <laughs> responded by the light. With the no, light. but then he wouldn't have been dead because he still would have been at seven. You're right. So we're gonna have to let Joe go down. So I'm gonna actually bring a note here. But he 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 didn't know he had he had triple bolt that game on yeah. top of his triple, triple path yeah. exile. That was that was just a very uh, tough game to go to win. All right, what do you think is going to win, Angela? Um, go ahead and do uh, uh, USA first. USA. All right. Well, he's got two Swan Song coming in. Absolutely, <laughs> hands down. <laughs> uh, Man League's probably coming in. Two Wear Tear. I don't think that's good enough. So. Two Wear Tear. I would bring it. It's a decent speed. So. Stop it. Like, it's instant speed right. stopping. That's that's true. Another shadow of doubt. Spells there. Spell sky. Spell sky's probably coming in. Another path. The path. How many cards can you bring in? So it's one path. There's a spell pierce. Two wear tear. And two swan songs. He's possibly a got a six or seven cards he could bring in against this matchup. Yeah, this I mean, more of a control so like, yeah, obviously. Two swan songs are a definite yes, and another path is a definite yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes, okay, the wear tear. Sure. Yeah. So he probably even eight cards. I would even bring in like I don't know. Would you would, in this in this situation would you cut like a six rev from his main? Yeah, I would bring in Manalik. I would bring in the Pirate Pierce. Comes out. In, yeah, I mean the verdict comes out. Surgical extraction is awkward. Be good. Yeah, I know. It's it's, it's, it's a, I feel like surgical extraction is always off. Yeah, and I feel like that's probably why he has the miser one in his main deck. Yeah, that's probably exactly that. yeah. <clears throat> All right, so for uh, Joe here. Yeah, Grim Augmenter, Dispel, Relic, Vulcan Rain, Engineer, Explosives, he's not playing. Alright, Engineer, Explosives, Discover, <laughs> Batter, Skull, Ancient Grudge, I mean, Fire Ice, Sword of Fire Ice. Yeah, bring in Fire Ice. Um, I bring in Dismember. Yeah. It's just good enough. Well, I, I don't know. I, mean, I think it's better than Bolt. Alright, probably true. Um, bring in, I bring Vulcan Rain. Um, this bring in Dispel. Dispel. So, so, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cards. Drop bolts. And you uh, drop bolts? You have Snapcaster, you can turn them on right there. It's, it's, yeah, but I don't know if you want to be doing that against control deck. I would drop Grimlava Mancer. Yeah, you just couldn't do anything. I mean, if you play a Grimlava Mancer turn one. Yeah, but then they just kill it. Yeah, but then that's one of the Yeah, Alright, well, I don't know then, because he's got a lot of cards to bring in. Take it out. Yeah, I know. Click's probably not that. He has a click. He has two clicks. Yeah. So, I mean, that probably just enters Battlefield, dies, and trades for the move as like Trace of the Rubles Ball. I mean, click, card, click, click with uh, Splinter Twins the most insane thing. It is pretty good. It is pretty good. With the new legendary rule? Jitaxian Probe is always a free out. Yeah, so it's Jitaxian. Just, yeah. You always just cut Jitaxian Probe. Right. I mean, is it Charm? Cut it. Cut it Charm? I, I think it, Well, no, I don't think so, because it's a uh, spell pierce that also Oops. kills a snap cast. Yeah. And Gangs. So, I think it's a Charm. I don't know. There's, 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 a, there's too many cards that he needs in his deck. Yeah. Basically. Sideboarding with this deck is very hard, I'd say. Yeah. I, especially this version. Yeah. It's weird. Because you have a lot of. Like, you're, you're trying, yeah, you're trying, you're to, trying to do so much. Do so much. Oh, it looks like they're already playing. Alright, so they're, they're playing already. So, uh. The fetch. Oh, dudes. Wait. You have to switch it. Jordan. Oh, you're right. John. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. John won I was really confused. So, uh. Jeremy's gonna, or Joe is going to go ahead and pop off the bench. There we go. Teamwork. Alright. <laughs> so let's see. Joe on turn two is going to play tap land, say nothing. Uh, he's got Molten Rain, Splinter Twin, Batter. He got Batter Score. Seems weird. Uh, I mean, it kind of blanks a lot of his removal other than the path. 
and then path like if oh, he has the doesn't even pass on that thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I mean I guess it's pretty good. Maybe he drops a lot of the splinter aspect. I wonder if this deck does that. I wonder I mean, if there's an interview because like maybe if you drop Kiki, drop like some amount of splinter turns, you just try to be a burn a red, a red deck with well I mean a really slow red deck with batter Like yeah. <laughs> Or like I mean you have Yeah. Let's see what he does here. Let's see if he just goes molten. He's not sure what you do, as you can see by the way. Yeah, I think he's trying to play around uh what's it called again? No, he's, gonna, uh, he's trying to play around Shadow. No, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because he, he kind of got blew out this game. Okay. Double fetching here definitely yeah. indicates that. that yeah. Like, just when nope. he taps out the thing twice, he's just like, I have to do this. So he should, like, he I would have got blue red here, right? Yeah. So he doesn't just eat 20 damage, but. Yeah. Keep up. He might even just molten rain end of turn at this spot. It's not an instant. It's not. <laughs> is it? If I'm, I'm pretty it. sure it is. I don't think it is. It would be insane. It's, it's insane. Oh, so it's a sorcerer. I, I didn't think it was an instant. I, that would be I nice. totally thought it was an instant. <laughs> so Joe is now at 17, yep. John's at 17. He's got a Mana League, uh, Blocktualize, and shit back. All right. A lot of staring at each other and playing lands. That's yeah, that's, that's, that's how this is working, especially since it seems like Geo is not. Yeah, that's a little lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there so it he's is. Gonna, this is going to get a mana leak immediately. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. I mean, he might have this with the like, blowout of blowouts, but. Right. Yeah, no, he's, he like, he's like fine. He's like, yeah. sure. John 16. So what's in his hand now? He's Splinter Twin, pa, uh, Splinter Twin, Batter Skull, Snap, yeah, Snapcaster, and two, Misty? Two two random, I think. I think, I think, I think, card I think his very last card, I think the card behind Misty, I think the card behind Splinter Twin is Misty. Yeah. Wait. No way. No way. No. No, that's not. There's no yeah. so Is it the four lines now? He's got a... He might tech edge that. That's a little... You see a Dispel? I saw Foils in the card Dispel there. A World Wings Dispel. I have one, so that's how I can break it. I still have it. <laughs> actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Molten Rain you again. He has another Man League. I'm pretty sure he's going to Man League again. You Man League first one. Yeah, unless you're like, he's going to kill me now. <laughs> I mean, like, he still has another at least two turns. And you have a... Uh, nope, he let it happen. He wow. takes two, so that would bring a uh, 14, I believe. Yep, John to 14. So, and now he can't tech edge, right? Yeah. Oh, no, he can. He can tech edge, it's just his opponent. Oh, he floated a blue, activate tech edge, or uh, tap tech edge, and he's gonna go ahead and think twice. twice. Like, Joe can't tech See, edge, like, he can tech edge back. But this makes me really wonder if Molten Ring is any better than Molten Ring. Because, like, sure, like, say they were both I feel like it's not. Yeah, it's not. Because, say they were both blood ones, he would have just. God, he would, that one, oh no, he would count. That one, that one wouldn't have uh, resolved. Yeah, but then, so you, you got, you've baited two counters. That That's true. So. Tech Edge is not an instant, right? Yes. Yeah, close quarters, no, it's everything. He's yep. going to grab another one. <laughs> that was a, that was a swift change of mind. Oh, did he shot him? Uh, uh, he he bolted himself. Yeah. So he's going to go to Joseph. 14. Snapcaster, probably. Oh, Molten Rain. Forgot that's, it. That's actually pretty good. That's that's definitely annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Jonathan's going to have a hard time. Ooh, hold on. What's that? John has that Singleton Surgical Attraction in hand. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Might even try and, like, Surgical the uh, Molten Rain. Surgical Molten it saves you a land. It saves you a land. A land and you, yeah, a land and two life already. Right. Yep, sir. He's like, like, no, thank you. He's like, I'm sorry. I'll uh... response to the target which usually doesn't. Well, matter. technically, it doesn't save two life. It trades off two life for that. John's at twelve. Now. Yeah, that's. I mean, if you're gonna take the two life, why not uh, save a land and look? Yeah. The only thing is, I like what John really, really, really wanted that search to go for. It's a one, yeah. Like, that's pretty much it. 
And oh. uh, he's got the combo in his hand right now. On top of a rematch. On top of a rematch. Yeah. So we're going to have to see how that works. He's also, he probably, depending on what Jonathan does here, he's going to just jam batters. Probably. probably. I mean, I mean, I don't know what is exactly in John's hand. Yeah. So, like, he might have an answer to it, but he still might not. Like, he right. still has and then, hand, and then that's right? another counter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. But that's another counter spell gone. And then next turn, Joe's going to be able to resolve his uh, pester, right? Yeah. And then if he makes another land drop, be able to remand and turn. Yeah. So. I always love uh, dream crushing and letting all this happen. Then, like, in response to them going to cast Splinter Twin. Just be like, cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Actually, what just happened, we saw all the uh, Joe's lands tap there, but they obviously weren't all tapped because he didn't get he didn't a castle right yet. So, I mean, he might just end up turning Pestle right on his own turn, right? Yeah, he might. We'll just, just bait out something. I mean, at that point, okay, there it is. Let's see. And uh, John's saying. What was Joe saying? Which card was it? That's weird. Yeah, why wouldn't he have saved the. Electrolyze. Electrolyze. In case he does. I'm he's pretty sure he probably or has he another wants a call spell. spell. I think yeah. he wants to land. Yeah, he probably has another removal spell, too. He might have a path. Did he draw it? Is that a tech edge? He has another two mana leaks. Yeah. Catches. So he did one and one to Joe, right? What's that? The life total is 13. Joe. Yep. Yep. I always use Electrolyze wrong with that. I always forget you can split Let's up the two. Yeah. That's why it's insane. Well, well, especially when there's only one creature, I just yeah. blank it. I'm like, alright, kill it. Yeah. So, yeah, see, that, see, that was the worst use of Electrolyze I've ever seen. He has a lightning bolt in hand. Like, yeah, but I mean, still. Like, I would, he knows the cards in his hand. Just do yeah. it now. So, is he a mana leak here, do you think? That seems, I don't know. Can't. Uh, you can't tap a hollow fountain with a bolt. Yeah. What's happening? Uh, I'm sorry, yes. Missing what happened. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Okay, so now it's Joe's turn, I guess. There's that sword. Pretty yeah, sure. That's sweet foil if it's the sword. That is no, that's the judge problem fire is. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably why he threw it in there. Yeah. <laughs> he was probably like, I it's just like, got this guy yeah. in my deck. Yeah. So I don't know why he didn't oh no, I guess it was a good one. Activate Joe. Yeah. 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 Discard. Make sure. Island. Oh, oh he's gonna ditch the island. Yeah. No, it's it's it. That's weird. I guess he just knows it's not that. Yeah. I don't know. That land drop does not seem that important. It's yeah, kind of edge. Yep, see, he wished he kept that island down. Oh no, he kept it island, that's why. Yeah, okay. he has, he has. And that cryptic is very good. Yeah. I mean, he, he probably. Did he cast that mana leak yet? The sword. He knows he, he knows he has at least one, but there's two mana leaks in there. It's always that awkward spot where you have like multiple mana leaks. And like in his situation, he has different he has different mana leaks. So oh, like right, right, people, right. some people remember which kind of mana leak they saw. Yeah. So if you show them the other kind of mana leak, because I play with like four different Lord Alliances in my deck, <laughs> so I'm like, which one did I show my opponent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe Lord Alliances. I wouldn't. Yeah, remember. like. I mean, mana leaks. I mean, I mean some people even time. write down the addition. The addition there. Set. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I bet. See, this is why I played you last time. Yeah, just, just activate swing for two. Bam. Yeah. Draw a card. Activate swing for two. Well, actually, it hits for six. Swing for two. Plus two, plus two, the sword. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought, I, I wasn't regarding the sword. I was just like, what are you talking about? Right no, now? yeah, it was with the sword right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, Mutal Vault is actually a six. six. <laughs> Only in my deck, bro. <laughs> yeah, actually. So he just drew a wear and tear, which is which, insane. Because, yeah, especially against that sword and even against that batter skull. Yeah. Like, he has a yeah, complete I figured he'd be choice right now. So I don't even know if Joe's going to want to hear This is looking pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> what is he countering right now? Or is he just drawing a card? Might be. That's kind of... Seems really, really bad. I think the only thing he's going to win was the, like, crippling. He would have should have... This is what he's doing. Like, he should have saved the... Before he just had it, had it. And he's got another. No, he he's got another. Anyway, so. He has another. Man here, doesn't he? Uh, uh, yeah, I see. I mean, he's manly. End of turn. Hair. Yeah. Or where? Whichever one it is. Yeah, Peeler is obviously just going to be bad. So I guess he chose that line of play. 
I was like, yep. Oh, uh, yeah. It was like, I'm going home now. <laughs> I gotta wait for my brother. Yeah. He has a swing in hand, so this is pretty much all locked up. I, I don't know. I don't know how I, Jeremy can get it. He's really bad at school. There's a leak. the leak. Jeremy's like, yup. <laughs> Joe. Ah, sorry, Joe. I think I said Jeremy too. That's probably one. The same person. We already had Jeremy on, so let's I don't. So yeah, no, that, he just he just he cast the sweet stone too, which is fine. He actually doesn't. It's gonna be hard for him to come back though. The sword did a lot of nothing. Yeah, absolutely. See, that's the thing, that doesn't make very much sense. Why you bring in a sword that, uh. You need creatures It's like, how is that anybody doesn't try and splinter? You know? Yeah, that's true. And he's got remand and remand in hand. So, this is gonna. This is gonna start ceasing to an end with uh, some Gideon beats, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he, he just drew a Swan Song on top of that. Swan yeah. Song, Snapcaster, and something else in his hand. I don't think. He should Snapcaster both in a turn, probably. So, he's gonna go to 7. And that's just game, that's just game right there. Untap. See, he didn't even sack Master Bolt. He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> he has a, a Sashion Colony, actually, too, so I don't know. The game would be over. I guess he doesn't. I don't know. I wouldn't be just finish it. Well, he's the one, so. The one, right? Yeah. Joseph. <sighs> it might be game right now. Yeah, sorry about this, Joe. Dead. Yep. 2 0 Jonathan Belzy. Yeah, it just shows the power of control when you're trying to play against a twin deck that's yeah. really creatures. Yeah, especially when there's so much spot removal in this deck, and like catch all like path to exile. Yeah, actually, absolutely. absolutely. Like three of them in game, game one was pretty intense, and that's all the ones he has in his main deck. And he yeah. has another one in his board, which he definitely brought. Too, he? Yeah. Look at him pre shuffling the sacred boundaries. Alright, guys, um, so that's the cease of another round. All right, so uh, we're gonna probably go ahead and see if uh, Jonathan wants to do an interview. Um, yeah, actually, we're gonna go ahead. And some, someone's going to see if he wants to do an interview now. So we'll find out for you guys. In the meantime, we'll uh, let you know. Chat some of uh, Kerwin's new uh, advertisement. Advertisement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Kerwin's Game Store said, "Need any singles? Get them at KerwinsGameStore.com. They have free shipping." On card orders over twenty dollars, and uh, use the coupon code Team KGS. All of, like all of, yeah, just one word Team KGS, and you get a three percent in store credit back. Yeah, which is pretty cool. So uh, there's that, and uh, yeah, that's it. That is this is it's running pretty good so far. Um, it's already it's only five o'clock. We have one round left. Uh, cut the top eight. You might you might go check also and see if Jeremy Tibbs, the Mono Dream. The from deck. round one, yeah. one or not, so we can uh, figure out. What's See up if with we there. can put him maybe back on camera. A lot of people tuned in for that deck, at least. Yeah, we had a bunch of people. In there, so, uh... all right, all right, guys. Well, um, we'll be right back. We'll see if we have an interview. If not, hopefully the round's almost over, so we can get right back to you guys. Uh, that's about it. All right, we'll see you. Right. See you guys in a couple minutes. Thanks, guys.
Yeah, kind of sad. Right. Hello, guys. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, this is uh, John and Joe from the match you guys just watched. Um, as you saw, it was a pretty one-sided matchup. It's uh, not very easy for Splinter Twin to get through uh, all the paths and all the bolts. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about some sideboard things. And uh, Joe, Joe, you can go ahead and start. What did you bring in, in the matchup? Um, I brought in Molten Rain. And I brought in Batter Skull. It's really hard to try to win off the combo. Just cast Hexiles, Lightning Bolts, Hammer Spells, so I figure if I can get to try to fight out um, the removal of the Counter Spells, and I can slip the Batter Skull and maybe win off of it. Right. Um, I wanted sort of Fire Nice. Figured if there was a small chance that could be good. Wasn't good. Yeah, you just didn't have three years of time. I would probably still do it again. Um, but I only threw two creatures in the second. Right, right. Alright, um. What did you cut? What did you, yeah, what did you drop? Yeah, oh, we were talking about that. It was yeah. kind of hard to. Um, a lot of tools. Honestly, I didn't. Like, I've never played this deck before a tournament. Right. Only testing games I've played with maybe six or seven games before the event. Um, I don't play a lot of modern, and I lost, like, every single test game. Um, but. <laughs> you still ran it. <laughs> right, right. I still <laughs> ran it. Um, You're doing good. You're doing good I though. ended up cutting a Grimlock Mancer. That was underwhelming. Um, I caught Lightning Bolts. Yeah. They don't do anything at all in the match. And I was really struggling to find other cards to cut, so I think what I did was cut a um, Serum Vision, which is not good. Like, you want that card, but there's really not I mean, Did you cut your Taxi Probe? I did not. Having that knowledge, the probe is one of my favorite cards in Legacy. I love playing it in this format too. Like just knowing your opponent, hand, especially when you're on a combo deck. All right. Uh, what did you bring in? What did you? I mean, how do you feel about the matchup first? I guess. Um, it's it's kind of fifty fifty for me. Um, I I bring in Swan Songs, the wear and tears, the extra counter magic. Go okay. yeah, keep going. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Batter Skull's never been good against this deck. Um, yeah. Tapping out five on your main phase is not good for this one. I forgot to bring in the spell spade. Uh, yeah, that I was like, actually, we assumed you would bring it in. Yeah, we were saying how like both, both of you guys have like eight card that you brought in mm -hmm. the matchup. I think I cut a, a, a few burn spells. Um, I'd rather path a Deceiver Exarch than both the Pester Mine. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing you don't know is he's not coming in Deceiver Darts, which okay. is actually relevant, I guess, especially since you know what I'm saying. So like your bolts were actually just as good as path that ended up being. Oh, something interesting. The first game, um, I didn't know if he was on just like a blue red Delver aggro plan, which was in the last creatures. Yeah, uh, he, you didn't see much. Right? Yeah, so I, I saw him in red blue lands, obviously, and uh, just in case you know, Splinter's going to help the pass back. Yeah, all, all three of them. What right? screwed me up? <laughs> yeah, what screwed me up was the uh, Grim Lava Mancer that, that got me back in. All right, maybe it's a red Delver. Yeah, well, that, that's what it was playing. It was playing Young Power Mentor, Delver, Grim Mouth Mentor, and uh, like, uh, Spell Service Spray. That was a popular list where formats just started after the release of their list. Yeah, but, uh, well, I just got a jam pick with you. Why aren't you playing Swan Song? This card is so uh, good. I would be playing to be honest, I talked about it this morning. Yeah. This card seems really, really good. Um, yeah. Also, I, one I, yeah, I really like that card. I, when I talked about Blood Moon, <laughs> <moves. laughs> yeah. um, and I felt like the thing I didn't know the format well enough, yeah. and yeah. Um, I took the list from the GP. Yeah, list. right. Well, I mean, obviously you can never go wrong with that. It's Typically, when list. you take a GP list or even a list, whatever that isn't yours, and you haven't really played the deck enough to know parts, you don't want to change it too, too much, much cause cause because then, like, you don't know if like right. there's lots of things. If you're bored, like right. how many cards can you take in? Put it, you know, put yeah, in with a match that. without ruining your sideboard chat, and how many cards with each ruining your deck? You can't have too many cards for one matchup. Um, yeah. Was, the only the reason the brain is actually better, I think, with the four snappers. Uh, right. Good to, like, yeah. Yeah. Um, the only thing, the thing well, I want to is, is like, it could have worked if I had, like, been able to resolve that the two of them did not resolve yeah. within the shape. Probably could have forced through Batter Skull. Like, Batter Skull, I, I realize that's not a great plan, but it's really hard for me to go with the, yeah, the, the plan that I have already. Um, the only thing I just want to touch on is Splinter Twin, because it's so hard to mock. Especially in Splinter Twin. The thing is, like, 
the search index is such a hard problem knowing if they want to dispel early uh, or dispel late to protect their combo or spell pierce early to stop these and stuff. Long Stone just hits both of it. So, like, I would literally be playing three main. That is, um, that's something, uh, the thing was, like, I saw it and I thought, yes, this is probably really yeah. good, but, like, the deck's only running one dispel in the yeah, main. Yeah, this deck is very different, so, like, maybe it's like, you. why? Because yours can grind. Your, deck, your deckless can grind. Compared to the other Most of the decks, games so, like, that I've actually won, I, I haven't comboed. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I probably could have comboed. But they were dead. Anyway. They were probably dead. Like they were dead anyway, and I, I felt safer. Um, but going forward, I probably wouldn't play the deck again. Typically, I play blue eye red, <laughs> um, which is funny. But like, I just like right. decided I want to play something. Like I, I haven't played modern in a while, and I wanted to play something that was unfair. Yeah, you were actually that's the, the first player to deck that we saw. On camera yeah, I would be playing the deck. Like, well, the I, I figured that'd be like a huge. I, I saw a lot of them, I guess, early on, but they all took early losses. I yeah. mean, I don't even think any have. It gave you another play the deck. And yeah. I don't even think any have the record as as good fine, and, and um, could be out of potential. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, uh, X2 might get in, but we'll, we'll have to find out. But uh, all right, thank you guys for coming down for chatting with us. Okay. Show. All right, thanks, guys. Quick plug, NFG.